Hi, and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. We are gonna make a delicious peanut and coconut butter. Now, I can't say that I am responsible for this recipe. Today, while I was in the supermarket, I actually saw in the health food aisle a peanut and coconut butter, and I thought, you know what? We can make that at home with the Optimum 400 juicer. So this juicer is put together, all ready to rock and roll with the blank plate, ready for the homogenizing function. All we need to do is mix some of the desiccated coconut up with those fresh peanuts. Now you can use your peanuts in any different way. You can use roasted peanuts or fresh peanuts. I use fresh peanuts and I actually soak them for a few hours in nice filtered water to make them soft and to make sure that my nut butter is nice and soft and juicy as well. So I've mixed the coconut with the peanut and I'm gonna pop it through the top in the feed tube until they come out nice and delicious. Now I actually don't usually eat peanuts so this is a definite treat food. Peanuts actually can contain a toxin or a mold called aflatoxin. And aflatoxin is actually one of the very few naturally occurring carcinogenics. So definitely this is not something I would eat on an everyday basis. I would highly recommend making a cashew butter or an almond butter well and truly above a peanut butter. But just in case you absolutely love it, get your fresh nuts, soak them and mix the coconut and feed it through. Look at this, coming out nice and easy. So, you can see I've made nearly a whole tub of the peanut and coconut butter. You can store that nicely in a jar in your refrigerator. You can use it as a spread. It's a little bit drier than a normal peanut butter, but leave it a couple of days and that oil will come to the surface and you'll find it's nice and wet. So pop it in a jar, use it as a spread, eat it on a spoon, however you like it. That's a healthy way to make your own peanut butter. Ciao for now.